I get it. That vacation is fast approaching, and by now you've started researching how to use eSIM to get data abroad. While having a digital SIM card on your phone offers some great perks, for example, no need to deal with public Wi-Fi or annoying physical cards, figuring out how to set up and activate it can be challenging for first-time users. But no worries, today I've got an easy-to-follow tutorial for both Android and iPhone. I'll be using the Nomad app as an example since it's very beginner-friendly. However, most other providers follow similar steps. And if you decide to try Nomad out for yourself, then use the link I left in the description for an exclusive low price on their plans. Before we dive into the CSIM Tutorial 2025 edition, you first need to check if the phone you use can even support an eSIM. If your phone was manufactured after 2018, it's highly likely to be eSIM compatible, but let me show you how to check just in case. Simply navigate to the Settings menu, click on Connections, then select SIM Card Manager. If you see the Add eSIM button, then that means your phone is indeed compatible. If you're still a little lost, then there's a list of eSIM compatible devices on Nomad's website. Next up in the CSIM tutorial for beginners, installation. I'll show you a couple different methods, however, the fastest one is to install it automatically right from the app. Not all the providers offer this option, which is another reason why I prefer using Nomad. Here's how to install eSIM on phone. First, download the app from either the Google Play or Apple Store. Then, launch the app and head to Homepage, where you can select which SIM card you'd like to install. Nomad is an ideal choice for anyone traveling through several locations. The app includes a pay-as-you-go regional plan, so you're free to purchase flexible data packages that work across multiple countries. After purchasing, you can tap Add eSIM to your phone, then follow the on-screen prompts to complete the setup. It's as easy as that. Keep in mind, though, that this part is only the setup process and does not activate your card yet. So you can complete this part before leaving for your trip without worrying about data being wasted. And then I'll show you in a minute how to activate eSIM in iPhone and Android devices. But before we do that, let's finish up the Nomad eSIM setup tutorial by showing the manual installation option. This is necessary if, for example, you purchased your eSIM card from a laptop rather than directly on your phone. Nomad offers a couple of ways to do this with a QR code or email confirmation. To set one up with the QR code on an iPhone, go to Settings, then click on either the Cellular or Mobile Data button depending on the current version you're using. After that, press Add Cellular or Data Plan. And lastly, a QR code will have been sent to your email address after purchasing your plan. So scan that now and you're all set up. The eSIM Android tutorial is very similar. Simply open settings and navigate to connection slash network and internet. Next, click on SIM card manager and then add mobile plan. And now you can scan the QR code. If for some reason you're unable to scan the QR code, then there's also an option to manually input the information. In the app under the QR code itself, there is an Add eSIM Manually button you can click, followed by a code and detailed guide on which steps to take. This method does take a bit longer, but it's quite straightforward for iPhone users, though some Android users have experienced difficulties. To do this, go to Settings, then Cellular, then Add Cellular Plan. Now hit the Enter Details Manually button and enter the SMDP address and activation code that was provided in the email during the setup process. Should you experience any issues during this process, most eSIM providers offer device-specific guides on their website. And the Nomad eSIM tutorial is particularly clear and easy to follow since it's literally integrated into the app's interface. Don't forget, I've left a discount in the description that'll save you money on any Nomad plan. All right, before I show you how to activate eSIM, remember that it's best to wait until right before your trip before doing this part. That way, you can avoid dealing with any mobile data or public Wi-Fi issues when you arrive and just enjoy the trip. To activate your eSIM on an iPhone, open the Settings menu and go to Mobile Data. Next, select Nomad eSIM and scroll down to ensure that data roaming is enabled. The eSIM Tutorial 2025 for Android users follows similar steps. Start by opening Settings and navigate to the Connection slash Network and Internet button. Now, tap SIM Manager, and under the Preferred SIMs button, find Mobile Data. Next, select the Nomad eSIM button, navigate back to the Connections tab, and choose Mobile Networks slash Internet. Once you've double-checked that the data roaming is enabled for Nomad eSIM, you're all set. An additional perk of choosing Nomad is the Activate Data Now feature. 
This allows you to activate your SIM before leaving for your trip, so you can avoid any issues upon arrival, and it will automatically connect to a local network once you land. Win-win. Keep in mind, the majority of eSIM providers, and Nomad is no exception, offer customer support in case you get stuck with any part of this process. I took it upon myself to test their service out, and I can safely say that after bombarding them with how to use eSIM questions, the staff were super helpful and solved all my queries quickly. And since you've already spent enough on your trip, be sure to save some money on your phone plan by using the coupon I left in the description. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.